This video is taken near the eye of a Category 4 hurricane in the middle of the Atlantic, with waves as high as a four-story building and winds reaching 94 miles an hour. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration is sending three state-of-the-art drones, each with its own important mission, straight into the center of these monster storms. The drones are a new piece of technology that is helping us uncover uh, information about the storms that we didn't know before. Let's take a look inside NOAA's lab to see how the agency uses drones to dive, sail, and fly into parts of a hurricane where humans could never go. At the laboratory, a team of NOAA engineers work on this torpedo-shaped drone called the glider. It's five feet long, can weigh up to 150 pounds, and it's controlled by drone pilots like Yuli Rivero. A glider could cost anywhere from $175,000 to $200,000, depending on what sensors uh, are they're equipped with. Those sensors are used to track storms half a mile beneath the ocean surface, measuring water temperatures along the way. Ooh, yeah. Beautiful. Better. This is not a handle. This is where you have the conductivity, depth, and temperature sensor in here, and this is the dissolved oxygen. The unit can find the warmest sections of water, which can intensify hurricanes. Normally we dive to 900 meters, and it takes about four hours. So it's about six dives per day. The drones collect data underwater and send it to computers like this using satellite radio waves. So one of the things we want to know is when the glider goes into the water, if you look here, this is the actual track of what the glider did, and you see this is like almost a perfect V-shape, which is what uh, we strive for. When the drones surface after each dive, they transmit their location to Yuli's computer, which shows up as those little dots between the lines. So here is a uh, map of where our gliders are right now. So we have gliders south of Puerto Rico, these three gliders right here, one south of the uh, Dominican Republic, and one north of uh, Puerto Rico. While gliders take measurements underwater, sail drones track what's happening on the ocean surface. They want to get the sail drone to be at the same location as the glider. This way you have information from the surface down, and then also, you know, atmospheric information, because uh, the sail drones have the capability of doing that. Built for extreme conditions, the robots are 23 feet long with a 15-foot wing that powers the drone and solar panels that power the sensors. These sensors test surface level temperature, wave height, wind speed, and salinity, or how fresh the water is. And if they are fresh, we know that they will remain in the surface. And if that water is also warm, it indicates a site that could intensify a hurricane. So one of Gustavo Goni's teams marks those areas on a map to keep an eye on. And when a hurricane is coming, the robots can sail straight into the storm. But still, under those conditions, it has to conduct the observations and transmit them. 2022 was the first year that NOAA deployed gliders and sail drones to the same areas of the Atlantic. And this season, NOAA is adding super tough new aerial drones that can fly through the 200 mile per hour winds around the eye of a hurricane. These drones provide us that information from the temperature, the relative humidity, the pressure information, wind, wind speed and wind direction. All of those factors are key on how we understand how the hurricane is, is evolving. That data goes into the computer models so that we can better forecast what's going to happen the next day and so on. Shirley Morello is in charge of the Hurricane Research Department at the lab. For years, Hurricane Hunter planes have flown above hurricanes to take measurements. Oh, there goes the sun. Today, aerial drones are launched from those planes, flying into the eye of the storm, giving experts a wealth of new data about how these monster storms intensify. Hurricane intensity is a tough nut to crack. There are so many different pieces of the puzzle that need to be solved, from looking at the different layers of the atmosphere, from vertically to horizontally to, to different time scales. From the air, scientists at these stations pilot the drones, gliding them like hawks into gale force winds, sometimes closer than 100 feet from the ocean's surface. Last year, NOAA flew this drone, the Altia 600, into the eye of a Category 4 hurricane for over two hours. But the drone crashed and wasn't recovered. 
We experiment with aerial drones to see which one is gonna give us the best information at the best time while we're flying in the storm. And so it, you know, it's a trial and error. For the 2023 season, NOAA is also using Black Swift S0 and Dragoon drones with a new probe that can measure vertical winds, allowing researchers to predict how long a storm will last at its highest intensity. As NOAA scientists continue to chart the seas in anticipation of hurricanes, they see the information provided by drones as vital. These data sets, whether it's in the ocean, under the water, or even in the air, uh, they're a key piece for us to understand and forecast those, those storms.